The dust has finally settled since Aisha Jumwa was expelled from ODM party by Raila Odinga. And the reality is also dawning on her that she was actually played by William Ruto and Soleiman Dori. William Ruto and his allies did not give Aisha Jumwa the right advice. If they gave Aisha Jumwa the right advice, in my view, Aisha Jumwa would still be supporting William Ruto today and she will still be an ODM member of parliament. And the other person who played Aisha Jumwa is Suleiman Dori. Suleiman Dori was the first person to be recruited by Team Tanga Tanga movement because he was the coast parliamentary group chairperson and William Ruto approached him to re help recruit the members. And he did that. But at the last minute, Suleiman Dori chickened out and started engaging ODM on a ceasefire. And after the expulsion of Aisha Jumwa, Suleiman Dori was actually in his constituency, thanking ODM party. But before we proceed, I want you to listen to Suleiman Dori speaking yesterday in Musambweni. Just listen to him. NGC, ambayo jana walikuwa na kongamano, kongamano lile ambayo lilisikiza maombi yangu kwa niaba ya watu wa msamweni na wakachukua fursa ile ya kuniweka mimi kiongozi wenu wa msamweni kwa huru nitoa shukurani zaidi kwa pati leader wa chama kile ambaye ni mheshimiwa Raila Amolo Odinga kuchukua wakati na kuona umuhimu wa wananchi wa Msambweni wa kwale kuona yeye ni mzalendo wa kuleta amani na kuona vipi atawasahazisha masuala ya, ya uongozi kwa hivyo hiyo ni shukurani yangu kubwa na mimi nataka niwahakikishie wa Kenya na wananchi wa Msambweni kama nilivyozungumza mwanzo na nyuma ya kwamba mimi bado ni mwanachama wa ODM na nitabakia kuwa mwanachama wa ODM na nitafanya kazi ndani ya chama cha ODM kuhakikisha nimeleta maendeleo katika eneo langu bunge la Msambweni. Na mimi nina imani ya kwamba sio uko mavu wangu wa siasa ama kwamba mimi ni mwanasiasa bora lakini ni uwezo wake Mungu ndo ameleta matokeo ya kwamba hii nuru na, uzu, na utulivu ukatokea. Kwa hivyo sisi tushukuru Mungu sana. Kisha tushukuru chama, tushukuru Raila Amolo Odinga, tushukuru wale wanakamati wa chama. Na mimi nawaambia tuko tayari kufanya kazi. Na kila mtu anafanya makosa. Na makosa tunayopofanywa ni lazima watu wasameane. Hii nchi inapochagua viongozi viongozi wana malengo. Hapo ametumia hekima na Mwenyezi Mungu Raila amzidishie hekima. Kwa sababu ametuokoa sisi watu wa Msambweni na siasa tena nyingine. Hakusaidia Dori tu, amesaidia watu wa Msambweni. Maana yake Dori ndiye mbunge wa Msambweni. Angemtatiza huyu, ametatiza watu wa Msambweni, ametatiza maendeleo ya watu wa Msambweni. Nataka kutoa shukurani kwa Mheshimiwa Raila za dhati bila hofu, mkiwa mtu wa jubilii lakini yeye amethibitisha uongozi. Na bado pia namuuliza hata yule mbunga wa Malindi pia mfikirie baba. Yule mama utaadhibu wengine. Mfikirie. Hawa ni watoto vile vile kama alikosea kisiasa mtu mzima ule. From that speech it is clear. Suleiman Dori chickened out. You know in war before you enter into a war you must choose who you are going to the war with. That's why it's normally important for people to know the kind of people they didn't deal with. Suleiman Dori, it is alleged, is, a, is a Hassan Joho's cousin. Not confirmed because I don't see any similarity between them. That's one. Number two, Suleiman Dori is not known to be, ha to have a, a is, is not known to be principled man. So it was possible for him to leave Aisha Jumwa 
at the last hour because these people know Aisha Jumwa know and Soleimani Dori also is aware that there's no way they can defeat the ODM party in the coast. And Aisha Jumwa is going to find it very rough in Malindi. Just listen to this speech, this speech by these people, the party officials in Malindi, and especially the speech by that woman. Just listen briefly before we continue. Kuhubiri injili ya kwengine kama wewe uko mahali kwengine. Manake kila chama kinatafuta kuongoza serikali na kinangojea uh, mchango wa kila kiongozi ili chama kikue wakati uchaguzi ukifika kipate power za kuongoza uh, nchi wewe unatoka unasema unasema unaunga mkono kule utatakiaje wema chama chako kama ungetaka mtu mwingine apande awe rais na hapa kwako kuna chama ambacho ungetaka kuchukua mamlaka si ungetaka huku kuporomoka sasa ilikuwa ni utoka alafu uende kule simple lakini amejitakia mwenye haya ni mambo ambayo ni ya kujitakia lakini mimi hayo hayanihusu kitu ambacho kinanihusu sana na kinaniumiza moyo ni watu wa Malindi watapata lini kiongozi ambaye atawajali maslahi yao mbunge yoyote kuanzia Malindi akichaguliwa huwa baada ya mwaka hata hamalizi miaka mitatu anaruka anaenda jubili huko kuna kitu gani na akienda kule hagi wale ambao wamemsaidia kwanza ukiwaona ni magari makubwa na kupeleka vioo juu ni meusi. Sasa hatujui kama hii ODM ni njia ya kupitia watu waende jubili au ni namna gani? Watu wa majini wako na furaha tele tele moyoni. Wameongojea bwana Justin Muturi atangaze kiti cha majini kiko vakandi. Na kikiwa vakandi na bwana Afrika Chobukat IBC chairman utupatie by election immediately watu wa Malindi hawana mbunge kwa sasa wanataka mbunge ambaye atajua masilaha ya watu na nataka kushukuru sana watu ya ODM kwa ile hatua mmechukua kwamba nyinyi utupatia candidate na bado mkaendelea kuchunguza utendakazi wake na tunataka kuambia hivi tunashukuru mmetuondolea lakini msituchagulie tutawachagulia sisi wa kama watu wa Malindi we will give you the, the very best person ambaye anaweza tupeleka pale sisi tunataka Hatutaki Malindi ikuwe mahali ya ubroka mtu anakuja hapa na Kiswahili yake anakuja anachukua kura anaenda naenda kutengeneza pesa maamuzi na msimamo ambao umeonekana katika chama unaweza kutujenga na kujenga misingi ya chama ndani ya Malindi na hususan pia nikitambua Jilore Ward kwa jumla na leo ni uthibitisho kwamba chama ni cha msimamo na sisi pia tuko hapa ndani ya Malindi na ndani ya Jilore kuthibitisha kwamba sisi ni watu wa msimamo. Na hivi endapo mama ata rudi kwa debe tutathibitishia kwamba uh, the spirit of the party remains in Malindi na msimamo wetu ni ule ule. So in my view Aisha Jumwa is in deep problems. And she's in deep problems because of the following reasons. Number one William Ruto is not a factor in the Malindi politics. Uru Kenyatta was to some extent because there are substantial number of kikuyus in uh, Mombasa and in uh, not really Mombasa in Malindi. There are no challenges and Ruto has not managed to hold get hold of the Malindi voters. That's number one. So she's disadvantaged in that front. Number two, Aisha Jumwa is going to face serious challenges. Willy Mtengo, the man she defeated, is not a pushover. And Willy Mtengo told people that he was aware that the moment Aisha Jumwa will be elected, she is going to abandon ODM. And I know Willy Mtengo is currently just smiling wherever he is. Then there is this guy called Philip Mcharo, the guy who didn't deny the ticket during the by-election. Philip Mcharo is actually one of the strongest candidates in Malindi, and he has made his way to ODM, just waiting for the bell to be rung. So Aisha Jumwa will be in deep problem. Number three is uh, Amazon Kingi Factor. Aisha Jumwa has always banked on the Ama Amazon Kingi the governor, the Cliffy governor. But from the look of things, I don't think 
Amazon Kingi will support Aisha Jumwa at the expense of his own project, William Tengo. William Tengo was actually Amazon Kingi's project. So I'm sure if opportunity will present itself again, then will, William Tengo will be supported by Amazon Kingi. In short, Am Amazon Kingi will definitely throw Aisha Jumwa under the bus. And up to today, personally, I don't understand why Amazon Kingi did not succeed in convincing ODM to in a convincing ODM from expelling Aisha Jumu. I don't know, but maybe it was politics because in politics you never know. Maybe Amazon Kingi wanted a way for his uh, his man William Tengo because remember Aisha Jumu actually took the ODM certificate by force. He defeated Mtengo, yes, but Amazon King had the rest tried to convince her to run for the women, which she refused. She refused. So the other important factor is still the ODM factor in Maninde. An ODM will still be a factor in Maninde politics because the ideology of the ODM party has been bought by the people of Maninde. The politics of marginalization. The people of course have been marginalized. And if you look at the the Galana Galana irrigation scheme, which the Jubilee government has collapsed, is one of the grounds which the Jubilee government campaigned on. But it has collapsed. And it has been corrupt it, it has been collapsed due to corruption. And the Jubilee now is being viewed, especially the side of William Ruto side, as corrupt guys. And with the handshake now, it will be very difficult for Aisha Jomwa to use development as a campaign tool because ODM as a party and President Uru Kenyatta's handshake will ensure that all projects are now channeled through Fred Matiang and not William Ruto. So William Ruto will not go to Malindi in the name of development projects. Those are my views. I don't know what you think. Probably you might be having other ideas. But personally, in my view, I think William Ruto failed Aisha Jomwa at Aisha Jumwa Tower, uh, Hour of Need. What William Ruto need to have done, number one, they, sh they, sh they should have looked for an independent lawyer to represent Aisha Jumwa in court, in an ODM National Governing Council meeting. Two, they could have allowed Aisha Jumwa to apologize to the party and let this NGC go away. Then Aisha Jumwa can make her way back to him. And probably that would be another one year. So that was another strategy which they could have used. The one which uh, Dory has used. Because I'm sure even Dory probably is still with William Ruto. But he was strategic. He went to ODM together with Aisha Juma. They were chased away. She kept on going, writing letters and apologizing. And assuring the ODM party that he will not be in anywhere near the Tanga Tanga movement again. But Aisha Juma has continued. Aisha Juma has continued bragging, thumping chest, which in my view was not the right politics because the law is there. But Aisha Juma still has the option of going to the court. I don't know what the courts will rule, but she has that option of going to the court to challenge the ODM party. What I don't know is whether she will succeed because ODM party pride itself as one of the party with the best brain as far as legal fraternity is concerned. And most of them are actually politicians and they understand politics. So it will be very difficult for Aisha Jomwa to escape this. But the courts can still save her. Because remember, courts in Kenya is who pays what. So if the Aisha Jomwa will be able to pay the price, fine, she will serve as an MP. The only problem is she can serve for the next three years which is remaining. Then after that, will she make her way back again to him? I don't think so. So Aisha Juma political career has just ended abruptly like that. She can extend it by another three years, but Aisha Jumwa is now a gone case. Thank you guys for watching. And if you're watching for the first time, please subscribe. I'm planning to produce uh, very hot, hot videos. Kalonzo Musioka, Uru, I mean William Ruto, and Musalia Mudavadi met in Kiambu in Mnyeri yesterday. So I want to, to analyze that and also probably other, other things. Thank you.